Here's a little look at my newest uh, little vlogging setup here. I'm using my Sony RX100, which is what I've been using for for the last little while. But I I made it more efficient by by using a, I guess a little little thing here to hold my Zoom H1 recorder, and the whole thing's attached to a uh, a Manfrotto mini tripod. Uh, the reason. I set it up this way is before I would, my voice recorder would be in my pocket and then uh, I would just hold the camera attached to this, uh, attached to this uh, Manfrotto tripod. And what I would do is uh, I would hit the record on the Sony and then I would hit the record on the, uh, on the Zoom, you know, it's in my pocket. And that can be cumbersome sometimes because sometimes I, I would forget to hit the button or I would hit accidentally hit the button and it'll turn off this way by having the two things together uh, I can instantly hit the record and then immediately hit the record there and hit the record record like that it'll be one simple movement and hopefully that will that will make it a lot easier it's just a little easier to use I'm all having having it both together and then I will just sync the audio to the video afterward in post-production so I'm gonna test it out today and see how it works. Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to my vlog. It's really, really sunny. Look at my head, that's ridiculous. This is also a test of uh, the Zoom H1. I have the, uh, the lavalier mic attached to the H1 instead of on me, just to see what it's like. Uh, I've, my feeling that it will be, uh, the levels will be too low. I need to raise the level or Put the lavalier next to next to me. The worker is here. They're doing some work in the house. Uh, basically, I'm still doing. I'm still renovating. All right, let's see if there's any mail. Oh, there is some. What's... All right, Sally, let's go. You're volunteering. How to use a computer? <laughs> That's good. You're gonna teach senior citizens how to use a computer. I wish I could film that, but. Alrighty, here we go. Now, where is that house? You can go to your friend's house. Teaching senior citizens how to use technology. Chinese what a. Senior citizens. Teaching Chinese senior citizens how to I use technology. Chinese American. Is a Chinese American senior citizen? Chinese American citizens how to use technology. Mm -hmm. Wow, cool. It's very important to volunteer and to give back. Look at the dog, look at the dog. Hey doggy, hello dog. <laughs> I just dropped Sally off at her friend's place. Uh, her friend lives at the Marbella Golf and Country Club. This is a, a golf and housing development. As you can see, these uh, the houses here are pretty big. So uh, Sally's schoolmate. And so Sally's gonna be volunteering with a schoolmate at the senior center to teach them teach these Chinese speaking seniors how to use technology. And you can see down below is the, the golf club, the golf course, the golf course. Yeah, you guys see some I see a worker, I guess repairing it. I don't know what hole this is. When I was first uh, looking at moving into this area, uh, this golf club community was one of the places I looked at. And it was a house that there was a house I looked at that I really kinda like. It had like a five car garage, and yeah, no, there's some there's some players. Had a five car garage, it was like 7,000 square feet. It, it was really great, but uh, in the end, we the reason we chose not to live here was because my wife wanted a view of the ocean. Yeah, so, and I don't really play golf, so, you know, it, I, the, the HOA here, we include the golf, golf club and golf course here. Membership, I don't know how much membership was, but I believe it was like $30,000 and plus monthly due plus course fees or whatnot but hey you know who knows maybe when I retire uh, look at that sign <laughs> golf course only not a pedestrian crossing there you go Marbella Estate and Country Club if you want to know how the other half live Spices, spices, where are the spices? 
Oh, eight? Oh, spices. Awesome. Looking for cumin. How hard can it be to find cumin? Ah, oh, there it is, finally. Mission accomplished. I got the cumin. I don't know what my wife's gonna cook with that, but uh, oh, that's basically my my adventure task for the day. Now I'm just gonna go home and enjoy the rest of my boring life. Back home right now. Uh, beautiful day today here in uh, Southern Orange County. As you can see, not a, not a cloud in the sky. Fantastic view from where I'm from. I think I'm just gonna. I was gonna pick in, I was gonna do some work, but then I came out here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna work here today, outside, just enjoy the sun, and uh, have lunch, and yeah, that, that that'll be it. But uh, yeah, today I was just uh, testing out the new vlogging setup. I, I'm still tweaking it. Well, uh, what I'll probably do is uh, I'll be making some modifi modifications to it. And I'll keep you up to date on on how it is, and when the final version finally comes out, come, comes out, I'll show it to you guys. All right. So uh, yeah, that, that's it for this little episode. I uh, hope you enjoy it. A uh, little look. Uh, I'll pick a pick up Sally later on after she finished her little volunteering at the uh, at the senior center, helping those I don't know seniors uh, <laughs> with technology and stuff. But hey, well, that's kind of cool, you know. It's nice for her to volunteer her time and help other people. Stuff I want to instill into her, you know. So yay, uh, that's it for this episode. Give me a thumbs up, like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.